Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Alex. We are the illustrators of Battle Bunny, written by John Sheska and Mac Barnett, and of course Alex. Alex is a kid who loves to draw, and so was I. Here I am at five years old, drawing on anything I could get my hands on, paper, wood, whatever. And I haven't changed much either. When I'm not illustrating children's books, I like to add things to old paintings. This was just a river. And another river. Artists like rivers, I guess. This blacksmith looked kind of bored making horseshoes, so I gave him something else to do. And this one is called Terrapin Cushion. After meeting with editor Justin Chanda, I played around with prints from old books to get the idea of what pencil would look like on top of paintings. My first drawings of Battle Bunny and Alex were too detailed. This is my usual pencil. I needed a bigger one to help me keep the drawing simple. But still, when I held the pencil in my usual way, everything came out too neat. When I tried my opposite hand, it was too shaky. Finally, when I held the pencil like this, everything felt right. I also had to forget a lot of what I've learned about drawing and remember how I used to do it. This is how I make airplanes now, and this is how I used to make them. Battle Bunny was different than other books because I had to sketch it out twice. First I sketched the Birthday Bunny book in my usual style, then I added all of Alex's drawings. I left room for comic strips because Battle Bunny was a little bit longer than Birthday Bunny. After the sketches were approved, I was finally allowed to paint. That meant a lot of oil colors, four brushes, and a few mistakes. Now, there's nothing wrong with mistakes, as long as you can tell that they're mistakes. I painted the Battle Bunny quite a few times because I kept adding some of the evil Alex would later give him. Birthday Bunny needed to be a bunny that would never clear-cut a forest, or womp on a crow, or turn woodland creatures into zombies. Ah, much better. I paint the backgrounds first, working forward from there, leaving the fun stuff for last. Turtles, by the way, are way easier to paint than bunnies. They have a lot less fur and much shorter ears. Now here's one thing I love about my job, painting things like chewed carrot cake and nut clocks. It's always a little sad when I finish the last painting and have to send them off to be photographed. I didn't draw on the actual paintings. We made smaller prints for that. Drawing the words was hard too. This is my usual A. This is how I drew A's as a kid. Circle, straight line, a longer line makes D. So how did a kid Alex's age manage to spell all those big words correctly? All I know is he's not going to the same school that I went to. And of course I had to erase my paintings to make room for Alex's drawings. After all the drawings were done, I sent them off to this guy, Dan Potash. Dan was also the guy who took our brand new book and made it look like it had been through a battle of its own. And now Alex has some bonus rabid rabbit art, never before seen and probably never should be again.